Hey everybody, Hey Cardboard here, and in this video, we are giving LM Studio a try with my GMK Tech Mini PC. It has a 680M AMD integrated GPU that uses shared memory, so it will share system memory, and you can set up how much dedicated system memory is assigned uh, via the BIOS. I think by default it was 3 gigs. I bumped it up to 8 gigs. I didn't actually notice the difference, and that's because it seems that the it will automatically assign additional memory as needed if it goes over the 8 gigabytes that is assigned. So if we bring up uh, Task Manager here, uh, right now it's showing like some GPU usage. That is just because I am actually recording right now, so all of that is from me recording. But we'll see when I load a model up here. Um, I have eight gigabytes of dedicated memory, and then we also have this shared for a total of 19.9 gigabytes of memory here. So this is actually, it says dedicated GPU memory. This isn't like when you have a dedicated GPU and it has like eight gigabytes of VRAM. No, this is just reserved system memory. And again, by default, this was three gigabytes, but you can bump it up to more through the BIOS. So if you have a lot of system memory, you can, it, there was even an option for 16 gigabytes for dedicated GPU memory, but I've noticed, and I've seen this on other channels, where even if you put it down to one gigabyte, it's just going to use whatever it needs to get the job done. So again, let's just hide this, and we're in LM Studio, and I've got a few different models here. Um, this is the one I usually use with my 5060 Ti, which has a 16 gigabyte uh, VRAM. And it runs really well. It's like 46 tokens per second. Uh, we've got this Quinn 3, and then we have the thinking uh, version of it, and then this Granite 4H Tiny. And these actually, uh, like, they all run about the same, which is like 13 to 18 tokens. So just to give you a kind of an idea, we'll just choose like this 4B and get that loaded in, and then we'll just check the task manager here and we can see that it fits within the dedicated GPU that I provided uh, for like space so this doesn't take up a ton of space I, again these are just like three four gigabyte VRAM is all you need um, looks like right now it's taking up 4.1 uh, 4.6 total and if we were to do a chat here and let me just paste in like a coding one so write a function that reverses a string in Python. And this is like super usable. Like I would have no issues actually using this with my mini PC. Like it's crazy that just a mini PC with an integrated GPU could do this well. And look, you can see that 19.93 tokens per second. Like that is actually pretty awesome. If we open up, we can see that compute that just went crazy there for a second. Um, and then that's it, that's all it needed. So let's now load in something a little bit more. So we can do, uh, let's try something. Let's just do the one that I usually use with my 5060 Ti and we'll see, um, you can see how that filled up the entire eight gigabytes of dedicated memory. Again, not really dedicated, it's all shared memory basically. And then it's so big that it has to use some of that shared memory. And again, it has no issues doing that. It is happy to just spill over into the shared memory and it doesn't actually impact anything as far as like the speed um, if i were to dedicate 16 gigabytes of memory it would be basically the same speed same everything um, so let's try let's try the same thing here and now it's using that open ai model it takes a little bit longer to kick off i had to think for a brief moment here and if we look at our capture here, we can see a little spike in GPU um, compute, but stays pretty steady at about 68%. And I think it wrote basically the same. Oh, this, oh, that was an alternate. Yeah, basically the same response here. Looks like this one up here had more comments or it had an example usage, whereas this one just gave us the actual answer. Um, and then uh, both of them gave like an alternate one. Let's do something like a little bit bigger. That uh, And you can see this was 11.64 tokens. So it ran a little bit slower. And let's do something that's going to... So like narrate a story about 
uh, an explorer discovering an ancient artifact. And this one should be should take a little bit longer, but this is still really useful. Like in my mind, if I'm using my mini PC and I have just a 680M, I mean, there's even better ones. And uh, if you've seen like the new PCs from GMK Tech where they have the 128 gigabytes of, uh, it's like unified memory kind of, where it's actually on the chip. These are actual like RAM modules. So they're gonna run a little bit slower, but uh, the latest ones you get like 128 gigabytes basically of shared memory. It runs a lot faster because it's soldered onto the chip and everything. You can't upgrade it, but it also, you get that speed increase. You get really good uh, token speeds with just like a kind of a mini PC, basically a PC without like a dedicated GPU. Granted, this does have uh, Oculink, so I could hook up a GPU. I'm probably going to do some testing to see if that works well. Um, but you can see this is like, it's not doing it maybe as fast as, you know, online, but like using ChatGPT or Grok or something like that. But to me, this is usable. 11.34 tokens per second. Let's uh, just switch back to, let's do a, the thinking one here. And while we do that, you can see um, we dropped that one model and now we're loading up the next one and that compute. That's really it. There's not a whole lot of system resources that get used with this, which is pretty cool. Like I'm doing this video recording and I am running LM Studio. And let's just do the same prompt and see how it does. So we can actually see it process the prompt and then we should see it's thinking kickoff. So it's actually like we're calling the Python requests and then, um, yeah, it's interesting because it obviously has the context, so it can remember that I already asked it to narrate a story. So it looks like it's going to uh, just try and come up with something different. Female explorer in the Amazon rainforest. See, it's setting up an outline here. All right, looks like it finished up here. 14.89 tokens per second. The thinking took you know, a pretty decent amount of time, one minute and 22 seconds, which we can kind of expect with a model like this. But honestly, all in all, it looks like, you know, this is super usable. Like I would use this just as well as I would use it with the 5060 Ti. So don't think that you necessarily have to buy a super expensive system to start playing around with AI. Like my plan next is to see, um, like if you've heard of N8N, I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on that. I know Network Chuck, who's like, you know, huge channel has done a bunch of stuff with it. I'm gonna start working it into my home lab. I've been meaning to do it for a while, just been a little bit busy. Um, trying to get the GPU cleaning videos, if you've seen those uh, going as well as everything else. So just trying to fit everything in, but AI has really been piquing my interest uh, for a while now. And I wanted to do some videos uh, just to kind of force myself to keep up with everything because everything's evolving so quickly. Um, but if you want to get into it, like this mini PC was like 380 bucks or something like that, which yeah, that's kind of expensive. If you already have like a gaming PC, you could put that towards like a better GPU or something. Uh, but if you're looking to get into AI and you want to just run something that's kind of cheap and have like a dedicated box, this works great. Like, honestly, I would recommend it. It's super usable. I'm curious to see if it's usable when it comes to tools. So like, I want to see if it'll actually be able to control things. If I can actually start hooking up some things in N8 and using this, I'm going to mainly be focusing the videos on the 5060 Ti that I have. Um, but, this one's fun to play around with as well. This is my main Windows PC where I record everything on it. So nothing too crazy, but I think it'll be really cool to see how it works out. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you haven't used LM Studio yet, I highly recommend it. It's really easy to use. I've got uh, like a kind of like an intro to LM Studio video uh, that I just posted the other day. So take a look and I'll see you in the next one.